Hi guys, my name is Mini Boy. But today I'm going to come in with Aiko here. Hello everybody, I'm Aiko here. But what are we going to do today? Today we're going to talk about what do we need to think about when we're making mind maps. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. You see, we search on the internet. We saw a map map. Did you ever wondered how can they think about my map? Well, let's get started to see why and how people have mind maps. Well, let's look at mind maps benefits. Well, I can help us to overview our lessons. Maybe if we have a lessons about uh, songs, like the songs, I don't know, ABCs, ABCs, yeah, the alphabet. Yeah, well, after that, we can review by the mind map. As we can review that, oh, the alphabet has these letters, these letters, sounds, and how can we put it in words? Yeah, that's it. My maps help us to overview or to reveal the lessons. It's really easy to memorize. Yes, that's right. It's really easy. When you look at it, you look for a time. You see, first you see here is the talking. Is the meaning of that part. Then we have some more word words to say about that ideas. Maybe you have the ideas. Um, you know the ideas. Vegetables. Let's see here. Crops. Yeah, I have the idea of crops. Let's see here in the root words. May I have vegetables, plants. Yeah, that's right. Well, root words are usually the words that are kind of like something that describe about the big word before it. Okay? Can can you know its meaning? Maybe it's too hard for thinking. Sorry if you can't think about it. But just think its benefits can help us to reveal our lessons. It's really easy to memorize. It's simple, fast, and fun. You can just remember it in just some seconds. You know, drawing a mind map is not easy, but we can get a lot of good benefits when we just take some time to draw a mind map. We don't need to make a mind map with full pictures with beautiful letters. It can just be a mind map that's just used for a pencil. Yeah, but if you have time, or if you have color markers, put it in because you know our brain is more attractive with colors and pictures. But if you have time and you're a good actor, actress, try it. Do some. Next. Planning. Well, first, first, when we're mind mapping, we need to plan about what we're going to mind with. Well, we're going to mind our projects so that we can review that, okay? Well, I'm going to make a mind map here, just an easy map map without a lot of pictures, okay? So if you like this for too much, sorry, and maybe if you like this, it's good, okay? So, wait me a little bit. Oh. My paint. Okay, here we go. I'm just drawing an easy one. Well, my ideas is about, um, you know, the shape, um, rectangle. Because today I learned about that lessons rectangle. I'm in grade 3. Don't say I'm in grade 1. If you are learning grade 3, you will know that that is the lessons that I've learned today. 
Did you learn that? Yeah, I've learned that. Maybe your school is a little bit late for my school. Maybe I don't know, but yes. Hmm. Sorry. There you go. It's a little bit lag. <laughs> okay. Well, first I'm gonna draw the project words. I'm gonna make just a circle, and it's here inside. No, I'm not gonna draw anything. Don't say. Okay, well that's it. First we need to have the projects. Then we need to have goals. We need to have goals about what we're going to mind map with. Yeah, we need to have goals. Ooh. Hmm. Sorry. What's happening? What's happening? Okay. Is it? Clear enough? Sorry, it's not clear. Okay, well, we need to have a goals. Um, an idea about where we're gonna mind map with. Next, we need to have strategies about what we're playing. Just remember to put in the most common word. Don't put in the difficult words. Just put in the words that can help you to understand much more. Like if you have a star. Don't say it's astro or any kind of honors word. Just say it's a star. Say what the most common word that most help the idea to be clear. Okay, that's it. Well, next we need to have a create eight creative brain. We need to be. We need to have creativity. We need to have different ideas about that. We need to have different ideas about pictures and colors and drawings, yeah, and different ideas about those words too. Don't just write in all the words in the books, write in the words that you know. How like today I've learned the rectangle has four angles, has four straight angles. Thinking about it, I have learned that the triangle, that the rectangle has four straight angles. Well, I won't write the rectangle has four angles, have four straight angles. Would I write like that? No. If you like, you can just write in. But for creative people. Hmm, funny people like me, I wouldn't choose that way because that doesn't help. Well, I'm gonna give out an idea like this. I'm gonna write the rectangles has four angles. You know what angle is that? Right angles. The rectangle has four straight angles. Or if like this, the rectangles. Have two long sides and two small sides. Well, I'm gonna say the rectangle have two large sides, have two large sides and two small sides. Side, okay? Is it okay? I change the word. Is it okay? It's okay if you are using the word that have the same meaning. That both introduce about something. Next, you need to think about your thoughts. You can't put our thinking inside your map. Okay. Next, productivity. We need to have more efficient, and this might not can help us to be more efficient. And um, presentations, and we can have more entity. Well, after you have finished drawing that mind map, adding all the pictures that you can know to draw, adding all the ideas that you know, and adding all the words that is about in this, then collaboration with ours. Maybe you need teamwork. Maybe when you're drawing, you can't know much. Well, find a partner, like your best friend, teamwork with her or him. Then after that. Share with other people about your mind map and 
college. Yeah, but sharings are the best way. Okay, well, after this lesson, we have to know how to draw a mind map, how to mind mapping by yourself, and how to use mind map in a correct way. We have also learned about different means of mind map. Well, let's just look at one last time. Look at the word mind map. First, we see this is a compound word, mind and map. Well, mind means the thinking in your brains here. Map is just kind of like, you know, and a piece of paper that shows us a big thing. Well, mind map means that we're showing our ideas on a map. Well, just be afraid, of guys. Don't be shy. Just do it. I bet your map would be even better than mine and others. Well, try it. Maybe one day you can do it every day. Be a good man. Who can do those? Well, now it's time to buy now. But remember, if you have time, go and do your own map. map. It will be really fun. I bet. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you next time.